Yo, what's going on guys? Today, the Milwaukee Bucks have signed Ty Ty Washington Jr., the former first round pick of last year's draft, to a two-way deal, which if you guys didn't know, is a deal that allows them to play and appear in 45 NBA games while also getting free housing. The interesting thing with Ty Ty so far is that he's been a guy who's actually already played for two teams. He was originally drafted by the Houston Rockets and then he was sent to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And the interesting part is, you know, he came out of Kentucky with all, you know, Emmanuel Quickly, Tyrese Maxey and the other guards who recently came out. You thought Ty, Ty Ty Washington was going to be another guy who was a late first round pick who his career in college wasn't that good. And you thought it was going to be because of Kentucky, similar to what happened to Emmanuel Quickly and Tyrese Maxey, where they were way better NBA players than college players, but it hasn't seemed like it's been the case. Either way, before we continue in today's video, hit that like and subscribe. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. We're a few thousand away, but either way, let's just talk about the fact that what does this mean for Milwaukee? They already have Lindell Wigington, and I believe, because they just moved, they just converted AJ Green from a two-way to a multi-year deal. I think the other guy they currently have the other guy that they have on the current roster on a two-way deal is our guy by the name of Omari Moore, who recently came out of this year's draft class as Andre Jackson and Chris Livingston. Both got standard deals with Jay-Z and Gortman also on a training camp deal. So technically all three of their two-way deals are, are filled up already. So no one else can be signed to a two-way contract, which, you know, is fine. I wonder if they have a lot of guards. They're very heavy on the guards department, which is interesting in its own choice. But this is a team that doesn't have many guards in terms of pure ball handlers. So it could be the reason why they're getting guys. And I think, you know, it's definitely interesting to see how it all plays out. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts, okay? It is going to be definitely interesting to see how this all plays out due to the fact that I actually think Ty Ty Washington could be a steal for this team because right now I'm excited to see how this all plays out if he'll end up getting himself a multi-year deal. He can only appear in 45 games. He gets $800,000, also free housing and health care and all that good stuff. It's actually a really good deal to get to two-way player. It just sucks that he was a first-round pick like a year ago and now he's on a two-way, but he has a bunch of guaranteed money from the contract that he signed with Houston Rockets. So our boy is benefiting from all of that. Let me hear your thoughts down below, but that's gonna be it for me today. Put peace out, everybody. I love every single one of you, but.